Let's dig a little deeper into some mortgages. So when considering the ratio of mortgage payment to income, is a lower or higher value more desirable? Well, let's think about this. We're talking about a mortgage payment compared to your income. Now, I don't know about you, but you know, if you're saying you're, you're maybe, I don't want to use numbers, but th the answer is lower, okay? And the way you look at that is you want your income to be, okay, let's throw some numbers out. Your income to be 50000 maybe your mortgage payment to be 600 That would be a lower ratio. I mean, if you're making a mortgage payment that's $2,000 and your income is $20,000, that would be a lot higher of a ratio, and this would really suck to live on, right? You would only... You don't have a whole lot. So you want your income to be way more than your mortgage payment. And so you want a lower value. That just means that you're going to have more money accessible uh, if something breaks. If you want to eat or put gas in your car or buy a new car or go on vacation. This, a lower ratio, will allow you to have more free money. Okay, so let's look at a, a graph here. we got a bar graph. Mortgage as a percent of income, okay? So here's the U.S. So looking at the U.S., it's roughly, you know, it's about halfway up between 0 and 50. So I would say that's roughly 25% um, of, of percent of income. So 25% of our income in the U.S. goes to our mortgage. That's what this says, okay? So uh, how does the U.S. compare to other countries? Well, I don't know if you noticed this, but it's the lowest it is absolutely the lowest on this graph if we're talking about the mortgage uh, as compared to the income. So that's a big difference, big difference. Approximate the percent for Ukraine. Here's Ukraine. It's way up here. It's just under 400. Let's call it 390%. Let's just do that. If you had a monthly income of $2,000 in Ukraine, what would your mortgage payment be? Well, it would be 390% of 2000 so 390 percent as a decimal is 3.9 so 3.9 times 2000 is 7800 now think about that you bring home two thousand dollars a month and your mortgage payment is seven thousand eight hundred dollars and now you're thinking how does this work right I these, this is on average. So these are ab so there are some people who obviously earn way more than that, and they can maybe actually afford to have a house in the Ukraine. Um, but on average, you really can't. That's just crazy. I don't know how you do that. I don't know how anything above 100% works. So look at the countries that are above 100%. I don't know how that works. I just, I, I just don't get it. How can you spend more money than you bring in? I guess maybe if you have a trust fund or something, or somebody left you a house, maybe. I don't know. Let's assume the average, average annual income in the U.S. is $59,000. So that's annual. So let's calculate the average monthly income. So if we take $59,000 and we divide that by 12, that's going to give us our average monthly income of $49,1667. So that's per month, right? And this is before taxes, by the way. So if the actual mortgage payment... Uh, as a percent of income is 24.1%. I was close. I said 25. Calculate the average monthly mortgage payment for a person in the U.S. So that's 24.1% of the income, which is 49.16 and 67 cents. So I change my percent to a decimal, and I multiply by 49... I forgot the 9. All of a sudden, I don't know how to write. 49.16.67. And when I multiply those together, I get an average... Monthly mortgage payment of eleven eighty four ninety two in the U.S. I'm telling you what, I don't pay anywhere close to that in a mortgage, um, you know, because I just straight up don't want to. Yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. So, uh, yeah, there's some mortgages. And I think, yep, that's it.